Exodus chapter 7, verse 22 to 23. Then the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them as the Lord had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house, neither was his heart moved by this. This guy is a stubborn guy. Uh, and God had warned Moses ahead of time that this Pharaoh is a tough nut, but we'll crack him. So he's, he's stubborn. So as had happened earlier, when the rod turned to a serpent, Pharaoh just called his magicians, his sorcerers, enchanters, to come and uh, show their power. And they came and mimicked what God had done. Remember, I had said the power of the enemy or the devil mimics what God has done. God does the original, Satan mimics it. To Pharaoh, all of this was a power contest insofar as his magicians could replicate or mimic what uh, was being done by Moses. He felt safe. He felt, after all, we can also do it. And he, he became more and more stubborn and intransigent. Now, I want you to note something very peculiar here. Pharaoh's magicians did not stop what Moses had done. If they had stopped that, then you would say they have power. But they couldn't stop it. They couldn't stop the act of Moses. They couldn't stop the plague. What they did is that they mimicked it. And what does that mean? They made a bad situation worse. So that just shows you how Satan works. You think he's going to help you. He makes a bad situation work. So what had happened is Moses goes to places, touches the water, it turns to blood. And aquatic life dies. And, and so there are places Moses has not touched, which, which are fine. And, and the magicians of Pharaoh go to those places that are OK touch the water, and it also turns to blood. So the, what, the good that was left, they just messed it up. <laughs> they just destroyed uh, the livelihood of the people. They couldn't stop it. If they were powerful, then they could have reversed the plague. And if they could reverse the plague, then they would show that they were powerful. Now, I want you to bear in mind, right from Exodus chapter 3, when God met Moses, he showed him two signs. The rod turns to a serpent and back to a rod. His hand became leprous and back to the normal hand. And God was telling him that God says, I can make and unmake. I can turn bad and I can make right also. So that's going to be the theme of what God is doing uh, with Israel in, in Egypt. So in this plague, the waters turn bad or turn to blood, fish die. But Pharaoh's magicians have no power to reverse it. The only person who has power to reverse it is God himself. He, he, he can turn the, the rod from, to snake and turn it back, and he can turn the waters to blood and turn it back to normal. And this particular plague went on for seven days. And after seven days, the waters returned to normal. And the, and the magicians of Egypt uh, couldn't do anything about what God has done. Now you have to be very mindful of every demonic activity. It mimics the power of God, but it doesn't bring life. It doesn't make things better. It can show power, but it doesn't improve life. And that is the hallmark of Satan. He can demonstrate power, but doesn't improve life. That is why you can go to places sometimes in our villages, people seem spiritually powerful, but there is no improvement because that is what we are seeing here. They can't turn the plague backwards. And when you trust in God, he's able to reverse all the plagues in your life. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, open my eyes to the deception of the enemy. You are my restorer and life giver. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. We'll continue from uh, the next chapter in Exodus. I am Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.